Las Vegas. In just seven days, the famous concert hall in the Mandalay Bay Hotel will become a huge competition arena for the world's professional swimmers. The construction, a modern miracle of engineering. With the issues that we have moving the materials in, I'd say we're probably a couple of hours behind right now. The materials, all custom-made components from the two-ton acrylic wall. Touching the wall. Andy, you're touching the wall. To the 600-meter long pump water system. Taking measurements and doing experimental things, so until we get it right. Seven days, 84 tons of steel, over 1 million liters of water. An impressive race against time. A mind-blowing event and a giant pop-up construction. Las Vegas, a city of superlatives. Partying, gambling, and above all, entertainment. It's the destination for over 40 million tourists each year. The most spectacular shows in the world take place here, and audiences have come to expect the unexpected. But tonight, the countdown to an unprecedented event begins. Las Vegas, the largest city in the state of Nevada, lies in the arid west of the United States. Located on the legendary strip is the Mandalay Bay Hotel. It's where the final of the International Swimming League is set to take place in just seven days. Responsible for setting up this mega event is project manager Giulio Orsatti. His first task, unloading. We have all the materials shipped from Italy, and uh, they're all manufactured uh, uh, specifically for this project. So we don't want to damage any of those materials, because if it happens, then we have to air freight from Italy, or we have to manufacture parts locally in some ways. In only seven days, the inaugural starting pistol of this mega swimming event is fired. Okay, the countdown has begun. The value of the event, over $10 million. The first milestone, construction of the entire frame of the pool. Deadline, this evening. There is a lot of work to do, and uh, the arena is completely empty. Uh, we have to uh, bring all the materials in. The beginning is not easy. No one has ever completed a project like this in so short a time. Time is uh, the, the biggest challenge. The Mandalay Bay is continuously booked by the biggest pop stars of our days. Postponement due to delays, financially unthinkable. Julio's team is constructing two pools in the hall. The competition pool is 25 meters long and 20 meters wide. Next to it, a smaller warm-up pool. In order that the swimmers can dive into the pool at all, the team first have to raise the entire floor of the hall by two meters. The grand final of the prestigious International Swimming League, ISL, is due to take place here in one week. 112 professional swimmers will arrive from 19 countries, ready to go up against each other. Over 10,000 spectators have paid to watch their heroes compete. Because the pool will only pop up for the duration of the competition, the team cannot anchor it to the floor. To create enough stability for the massive construction, Julio's team developed a freestanding frame, specifically for the event. 1,730 elements and a total of 12,700 bolts form the base structure of the pool. The four sides are connected by 90 longitudinal and transverse elements. They act as bracing and strongly keep the structure together. 
This special construction is designed to ensure that the pool can withstand the pressure of more than one million liters of water, and that without being bolted to the floor. Over three hours have already elapsed. According to the plan, all of the material should now be in the hall. But it's taking longer than expected to bring everything in. In order to avoid losing even more time, project manager Giulio has his team begin simultaneous parallel construction. Stage builder Mark Dodd is responsible for perfectly positioning the pool in the hall. We make sure our camera angles are really good in here, so we're just we're just setting the pool datum corner so we can build from there. Uh, if we do it wrong, then it adds a lot of extra work to us. So if you do it right in the first time, it works well. If the pool is not placed at the correct spot in the 2,000 square meter hall, it will negatively impact all the other components. Later, specialists will lay more than 600 meters of pipes, piece together 84 tons of steel, and tighten around 50,000 bolts. The center has to be at the corner. After months of planning, the Italian company will now discover whether they've thought of everything. Six days and less than 20 hours left until the swimming event. The last part of the shipment arrives. The cargo, fragile, a transparent acrylic wall. We have to be careful and uh, unload it in a proper way. Because as I said, this is a transparent wall. So if we scratch it, damage it, or whatever, the aesthetic result would be compromised. I'm a little bit worried now. The wall has traveled 10,000 kilometers to get here. It's a custom fabrication from Italy. Irreplicable and irreplaceable. If anything should happen to it, it would mean the end of the project. The wall consists of three separate panes, each seven meters in length and weighing 650 kilograms. The biggest danger, an overflex of the sheets. And if worse came to worst, it would break. In order to prevent this, Giulio's team uses two forklifts in combination. One pulls the precious freight inch by inch out of the truck. The second supports it in the middle. I mean, it was done properly, so there was no, not too much flexion, no damages. So I think, uh, I think we're good now. We will store it here for the moment, and then we have to bring it back uh, into the arena. Giulio will only be able to tell whether the acrylic wall has survived unloading unscathed in seven days. The smallest of hairline cracks or scratches will only become apparent once the pool is filled with water. Preparations for laying the base frame in the hall are in full swing. According to the plan, it should be installed by noon today. The Italian pop-up specialists have spent five months planning the installation. Now, the theory is put to the test. And there are problems in practice. There's a hollow space beneath the floor directly under one side of the pool, a half a meter of nothing. If the pool remains at the planned spot, the floor of the hall is in danger of collapsing. The problem is that uh, one side of the pool is right above an uh, ice pit because in the arena there is uh, also an ice ring. So there's all the mechanical um, and uh, electric that are needed to uh, create the ice are in a pit and uh, our pool is right above it. So we have to move it 3.5 meters away from that pit because uh, we're not sure that it's going to take the load of the water. We're just shifting it three meters, three and a half. So, so we're going to shorten this, yeah. this part. So the warm up we stay there. Right. So I had put enough space in between this orchestra discussion at one point, about orchestra back behind, so I had adapted for all that. <laughs> okay, so. And you're okay with the uh, sport? A huge setback for Giulio and his team. They have to shift the entire pool by three and a half meters. With a schedule this tight, a potential disaster. 
with the issues that we had moving the materials in, I'd say we're probably a couple of hours behind right now. Still day one, and already Giulio and his team are three hours behind schedule. Despite this, there's no room for error because at the latest, they would pay the price once the pool is filled with water. Bit by bit, inch by nervous inch, the team shifts the base frame to the new location. Will the 12,700 bolts hold the construction together? Here in a building in a desert, where there's still next to nothing, the best swimmers in the world will compete in the International Swimming League in less than seven days. The prize money, a total of almost $200,000, a Vegas miracle. To make this happen, Julio's team needs to tackle the next challenge in the afternoon, installation of the side walls. Three of the pool sides consist of 130 steel panels that the team bolts to the base frame. Each of them is two meters high. They're supported by buttresses and struts. The transparent acrylic wall on the fourth side cannot be bolted to the base frame. It's a special construction that includes 25 custom welded buttresses and four columns that keep it in place. The view underwater, a highlight for the spectators and a particular challenge for Giulio Orsati. He and his team have never built such a tricky construction before. The parts, all made to measure. This is the first time that we installed a structure like this for a temporary event. Uh, so it's the first time that we install uh, the support for the acrylic because this is where we will place the acrylic. And uh, so we had to manufacture a special structure. These special columns are designed to support the wall, which weighs a total of two tons. To do this, they have to be securely bolted to the base frame. But for some reason, it doesn't fit. So the problem is that we have no alignment here, so we cannot do the screws. And uh, here, this part is uh, too much. Quickly manufacturing new parts is not an option. 10,000 kilometers from the factory, and they don't have the right machines. And for this pop-up construction, time is the last thing that Giulio has to spare. At the other end of the hall, the rest of the team is busy assembling the normal side walls. According to the plan, at least two of them have to be in place by this evening. Guys. Guys, let's do everything step by step. Calm. Let's have a break. I would ask you to prepare everything for the night shift. That will take about 15 minutes. After that, let's have dinner and then let's go to sleep. Having been on the go for 15 hours, Giulio postpones the issue with the wall until the following day. A mistake now would mean no going back. While the first of the Vegas tourists head out to party, work behind the doors of the Mandalay Bay Hotel continues. In order to build the 500 square meter competition pool in the short time available, the team works in two shifts. Daniela Maragon supervises the night shift. So today we finished the panel, gutter, structure, and everything. And tomorrow morning the guys start to complete the, the floor, waterproof, and the gutter, and everything. Mm -hmm. 
the day shift has already assembled two sides of the pool as planned, leaving one for Daniela's team. This means lifting, positioning, and bolting together 45 panels, each weighing 30 kilograms. What is difficult is, uh, for us, is uh, follow every single code in exactly position, because if we made a mistake in the, from the bottom, we have a really big problem on the top when we finish with the gutter and other things. Every bolt, however small, is crucial to the success of the project. If just one isn't tightened properly, over one million liters of water will later leak through the walls and flood the arena. I feel better, <laughs> really better. Yeah, because this one is the, the hard job, because physically the, the panel is heavy. So all single pieces is very heavy. Now it's just to fill in the, the single hole with the screw, and after we're starting with the, with the top. Done. Three of the side walls are in place. Daniela and his team will only discover if they've done their job properly once the pool is filled with water. The water pressure in the pool is 0.2 bar. That means each wall must withstand 100 tons of weight. Day two for the giant pop-up construction in Las Vegas. Just six days to go until the big swimming competition in the event arena of the Mandalay Bay Hotel. Despite the time pressure, project manager Giulio must work precisely. Regularly checking the dimensions is essential because as an official competition pool for a short distance championship, it must be exactly 25 meters long. But the frame isn't even finished yet. A wall is still missing. Important for us is to be able to um, solve the interference issues that we have here or with the steel. So we're going to modify a couple of uh, pieces uh, and we're going to put all this side in a perfect level and alignment because tomorrow we have to fit in the acrylic walls. The team should be installing the acrylic wall by now, but the frame still doesn't fit together. The upshot, three hours is now a whole day behind schedule. Let's cut this part diagonally. Okay. In order to make the holes in the frame line up, workman Luciano cuts a piece of the back wall off with an angle grinder. After a night's sleep, the solution seems simple. Five months of preparation and precise calculation. Now Giulio's team simply cuts a piece off. And it fits. Stage two of the special construction, putting in the steel columns. They will support the costly acrylic wall. And here too, it doesn't fit. I'm a little bit worried now because I thought that we would have been done by this time. So we're probably a little bit behind, but uh, uh, what is important is that we, we find the proper way. The pop-up specialists are running out of time. Although the support has been precisely virtually modeled, it's never been assembled in practice. If they can't come up with a solution by this evening, the entire project is under threat. To, to twist a little bit uh, because we don't have uh, enough space to put, uh, to put inside uh, of the column. Now the column is too wide for the support. Giulio sends his colleague Julian off to find the right tool. So we have to cut uh, part of this structure because we need to be able to fit it in, in there. So I think we need a, like a big grinder, uh, sand disc. Yeah. Yeah, the big disc. Six or nine inches. Yes, nine, yeah. nine inches. As big as possible. Yeah. 
Julian has no idea where to find such a thing. He simply heads out. He wasn't prepared for a situation like this. So many moving parts in such a short space of time to get so much done um, that stuff gets forgotten or uh, stuff isn't where it needs to be. Um, so it's always uh, a new challenge. His first attempt, a small DIY store away from the strip. The wrong decision? Uh, they don't have all we need, so we have to go to another store. The next attempt, the clock is ticking. As long as Julian is off looking for the tool, his colleagues back on site cannot continue. Not here either. The third attempt. Julian is in luck. He's found an extra large angle grinder. Ciao, Julio. Ciao, Julio. Uh, you're on speaker right now. Just calling to let you know we're on our way back. We got the largest grinder that Home Depot had. All right, awesome. Back at the Mandalay Bay Hotel event arena. Everyone is waiting impatiently for the tool they need to get back on track. On a normal job sites, when you have a lot of time to work, it's just maybe one person in charge and uh, a team. But here you have to coordinate many, many teams at the same time. So it's very important that whoever is in charge of a team talks to each other and create a good uh, group, a good feeling. So it's uh, easier to overcome uh, issues. It's high time that the problem with the column was resolved. Only an hour to go until the end of the shift. The column is too big and doesn't fit in the intended mountain, so a piece has to be cut off. Just a few minutes before the end of Julio's shift, success. The support for the acrylic wall is in place. Julio's talent for improvisation has paid off, but they'll only find out tomorrow whether the transparent wall actually fits in the support. We finally managed to get it in. Uh, it's been uh, quite a lot of work. We had to do more than we thought, but uh, we feel much better now. We're much happier, and uh, now we know how to modify uh, uh, both of them, and uh, we can keep going and uh, finish the side by tonight, which was uh, the most important thing for us. But uh, we get it done, and then uh, maybe uh, I'll offer a couple of beers to the guys for the hard work, and uh, we start again tomorrow. Problem solved, and the day's central objective achieved. Our pop-up building site is gradually becoming more and more like an international swimming arena, thankfully. Because the best swimmers in the world are already on their way to Las Vegas to win a medal for their team at the grand final of the ISL. Less than five days to go on the mega building site. Today, the special wall must be installed in the frame. Also on today's agenda, installation of the filter system. Ben Schaffer supervises the operation, although he's a total rookie in the field of pop-up pools. I personally haven't been involved in it uh, in a temporary pool, but we've, we've talked to other people that have done the similar events. Ben normally builds permanent swimming pools, and he has a lot more time to do so. Usually, so when we do a filter rooms, you know, Roger, how long would you say a filter room like this would take you to, 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 to do the whole thing for two pools like this? 
probably three weeks for a whole filter room. Yeah, like a three or four weeks. Yeah, three or four weeks is usually what we would take to do something like this. But that's why we skid mounted things too before we came out. You know, the pumps were put on skids. The, the system behind me is a whole control system that we, we, we assembled in our shop. Ben and his team have been designing and building the filter system for over two months. Small, rapidly rotating brushes filter the dirt particles from the water. The dirt remains in the unit and is discharged. The clean water flows back into the pool. In addition to the big competition pool, the crew has additional stress with the construction of the small warm-up pool as well. It's also 25 meters long, but just eight meters wide. The professional swimmers use it to warm up on competition day. Another time-consuming job, but a requirement of the official swimming federation. Back to the competition pool. The special frame construction is installed. The 500 square meter pool is still missing its floor and it's not basic tiling required here. It consists of three layers. Layer one, foam mats for thermal insulation. Layer two, plywood boards. They create a flat surface. The final layer consists of a thermos welded PVC sheet. It ensures that the floor is absolutely waterproof. Visitors to the legendary Las Vegas Strip are oblivious to the work going on at the pop-up building site. While outside, tourists are enjoying the numerous attractions on offer, like a leisurely trip down the Rio Grande by gondola. Inside at the event arena of the Mandalay Bay Hotel, the big moment has arrived. Our team is finally installing the special transparent acrylic wall. They will now discover whether the solutions improvised over the past two days are up to the job. Now it's a crucial moment for, uh, for us. If we can get this acrylic in place and uh, we understand exactly how to do it, we'll be on the right track. If we don't, then we have a serious problem. If the wall gets damaged or doesn't fit into the frame, that $10 million event will be a washout, quite literally. Because the wall is a one-off. There is no replacement and no time to manufacture a new one either. Transparent pool walls are usually only found in the most exclusive luxury hotels. At an official competition, they're a novelty. So the acrylic is a special product that we have and it's the first time that we install it in a temporary event and we have to install it in a very short time so this makes things very complicated that's in the wall Andy, you're touching the wall behind you okay both of you back up about a foot to produce the best effect, the wall must be absolutely scratch-free. While the men are still struggling to install the acrylic wall, Ben Schaffer's team has already laid the majority of the pipes for the filter unit. A total of 600 meters of pipe make up the pool circulation system. They transport dirty water from the pool and fresh filtered water back again. We probably use well over a thousand feet of pipe, probably around 2,000 feet of pipe of different sizes, anywhere from 12 inch all the way down to one inch pipe. The pipes are made of PVC, even for such a modern pool. It's light, so it takes Ben's team just a short time to assemble the pipes. In order to clean the water, filter professional Ben uses volcanic rock instead of the usual sand. It cleans the pool water more effectively and quickly. It's a much quicker installation. It's one tank per pool, whereas uh, if we use sand or another filtration system, it'd be multiple tanks and it would just be much larger. 
Fewer tanks mean faster installation, just a week instead of the usual month. Showtime at the pool. Julio and his team hold their collective breath. Does the acrylic wall fit into the support modified on site? If not, it doesn't mean any extra work, but rather the immediate end of this mega pop-up construction site and cancellation of a totally sold out event, unthinkable. Inch by inch, the most important section of the pool is lowered into place. Yesterday, Julia went ahead and modified a part of the frame. Only now will he see whether the wall actually fits into the support. Things look good so far. The first of the three panels is in. I'll feel better when the other two are in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel better when step three is done. The acrylic wall is made of three sections. Two of the 650 kilogram paints are still missing. Done. The wall installation is complete. Now we're happy. Uh, now we have to do all the preparation for the ceiling, so we make sure there's no water coming out, and uh, it's uh, time to start the waterproofing of the tank. Julio and his team have achieved their objective for today. But they will only know whether or not the wall can withstand the pressure of the water shortly before the event. Meanwhile, the first of the swimming fans are arriving in Las Vegas in order to attend the unprecedented competition in just a few days' time. The pop-up professionals have barely four days left until the mega event. On today's agenda, lining the floor of the pool, connecting the filter system, and raising the floor up to the same level as the pool. Raising the entire floor of the hall by two meters requires a substructure. A special construction made from 57 tons of steel and two tons of aluminum. This will then be covered by 700 plywood boards and 1,700 square meters of rubber sheets in two layers. This job is the responsibility of Dave Cooper. He's been planning the construction of the deck for two months. Build the underneath structure for them to put the plywood and then they'll put the PEM finished the, product. Uh, okay, so what will happen today is we'll build these structures like we built kind of in the past few now. days. Dave doesn't have much time left to raise the 2,000 square meters of floor. like to do anything twice. I don't do nothing twice, you know? And if I have to, then it's, it's kind of a bad day for me, you know? Actually, everything's going according to plan for Dave, if only it weren't for the other teams. When we started, the pool company had two days to try to get the pools up and get out of our way. Well, they didn't have, they didn't, they didn't get it done. They had a third day into it. The challenge is, when they don't get it done, then we get all backed up. As Giulio Orsatti's pool team has been behind schedule since day one, Dave is now suffering the consequences. He has one day less to do the same job.
because the grand final of the ISL is already sold out. 10,000 spectators have booked tickets and are looking forward to the event. A ticket costs around $50, half a million dollars on the gate alone. Just over three days to go, and the pool has to be full of water. For filter specialist Ben's team, it's high time they laid the main pipe. The entire water system depends on it, because the pipe is the connection between the competition pool and the filter unit. But something isn't right. A little bit of adjustment. The pipe doesn't fit. Ben and his team now have to reconnect everything. When the swimming pool is in operation, 5,000 liters of water will flow through the pipe each minute. If the pipe doesn't fit perfectly, the entire hall will end up underwater, and the Mandalay Bay will not be happy. If it's not lined up straight, the fitting will push all the way in, or it'll push up against one side. Now we might get a leak, we might get a cracked fitting. Yeah, if you put too much stress on it, and try and try and get it to be the right angle, so. A disaster. The planning error is frustrating and takes time. Something Ben doesn't have to spare right now. Roger. Right here. Without the pipe system, there will be no water in the pool. A solution must be found. The floor must be absolutely watertight before the pool can be filled with water. Competition pools are normally tiled, but that isn't an option for a pop-up event. Assembly and disassembly have to be performed quickly. PVC sheeting is the faster option. Did you try it once to have a look at how it works? The sheets are still lying loose on the floor. Giuseppe Garanti will soon change that. His task, to weld the sheets together using a high-performance blow heater. It blows out air at 200 degrees Celsius. If Giuseppe holds it for too long at one place or the sheets are not properly fused, the pool will have a hole in it. I have to try it first to see what temperature is needed and which speed level is necessary because it is important that everything is even in the end and that the foil doesn't get burnt. It shouldn't be possible to separate the sheets even with a pallet knife. Only then will the lining be completely watertight. Having performed a test run, his work begins in earnest. Giuseppe's skillful touch will now determine whether or not the pool will hold up later on. Mistakes can always happen. The plywood isn't always even. But if I burn the foil, then it isn't waterproof anymore. A leaky pool the ultimate disaster. Project manager Giulio Orsati inspects the result personally. He has overall responsibility for the entire construction project and is ultimately answerable for any mistakes. So now he's uh, sealing with liquid PVC the edge of the weld. So the two, one liner is here, the other one is on top, overlapped by five centimeters. And uh, on the side, we close, both for aesthetic finish and for uh, extra safety for the weld with liquid PVC. A real challenge for Giulio's team, making sure that even the tiniest of corners is watertight. If they forget just one, the pool will leak and all their efforts would be in vain. In the meantime, 
filter specialist Ben and his helpers are still trying to solve the problem with the main pipeline. They've spent over two hours connecting the pipes in various combinations. As yet, without success. A little more to the right. The water system really has to be finished today. Without it, any other faults can't be identified and certainly can't be fixed in time. After all, the pool is supposed to be full the day after tomorrow. Taking measurements and doing experimental things, so until we get it right, until it lines up. So just try different things. Then finally, construction supervisor Ben appears to have found the right combination. Firmly stuck and strapped together. The pipe fits. So the problem is fixed. Where's the audience? Love. Problem solved. Today's critical objective achieved at the very last minute. Barely three days left to finish transforming the building site into a competition pool. The only thing still missing, the markings. Julio's team must stick the strips together with millimeter precision. 2.5 meters. That's the space each athlete has. The challenge? The pop-up pool must satisfy the same criteria as every permanent swimming pool. Exact dimensions and exact water temperature. The athletes can perform at their best at a temperature of exactly 24 degrees Celsius, but the construction time is normally around 10 times longer giant pop-up international competition pool. For Julio's team, this has meant slaving away around the clock for the past five days. Whether or not all their efforts have been worth it will only become apparent in 48 hours when the last drop of water is in the pool. This morning we cleaned the acrylic, so now it's uh, brilliant. And uh, yeah, just a lot of cleaning and then we're ready for water. This means that today's goal has been achieved. Everything is ready for the first drop of water. It's about time, too, because in two days, a spectacular swimming event is set to take place, but only if Julio's team finishes on time. Here in the Mandalay Bay Hotel, one of the biggest hotels in Las Vegas, a city that knows no bounds and prides itself on making even the most impossibly spectacular of shows possible. The second to last day begins. The moment of truth has arrived. Today, the pool is to be filled with water. Showdown. This hose will soon carry the full water flow that will decide the success or failure of the pool crew. The water is supplied from the fire hydrant in front of the hotel arena. The hotel's regular water supply would have insufficient pressure. Filling the pool would take twice as long. And this way, the pool will be full in 24 hours. That time has come. We might have a few issues while filling, maybe a leak or maybe uh, some adjustment that we have to make. Julio has cut, hammered, stuck, and bolted everything together. Whether or not the pool will really hold will only become clear once it's full. Meanwhile, stage builder Dave Cooper must keep his composure, even under time pressure. The pipes are so unforgiving, they're where they're at. The system that we use lets us move it around 
and we make it work. The biggest danger? Dave could damage the pipes with the heavy steel bars. That would bring the entire building site to a standstill. Now it's just time to witness the first water going in and uh, it's, a, it's a romantic moment for us that we build the pool. Tomorrow morning, if everything goes smoothly, there will be 1.3 million liters of water in the pool. This means approximately 700 liters of water gush from the hose each minute. The final 24 hours begin. Everything is going according to plan thus far. Time to start up the pumps. Construction supervisor Ben Schaffer is anxious. First time we turn on the pumps, it's a little nerve wracking because you know you have so much uh, footage of pipe all the way around the pools, mechanical systems. You have all the um, the connections, so it's it's a little nerve wracking. You know that you, so you don't you're worried about leaks, you're worried about something going wrong, you're worried about you know, voltage, amperage, you know, the power side of it. Just a few more seconds, then it's time. The system works. It feels pretty good once things start working right and everything uh, is flowing at the right rate, you have no leaks, um, then it feels pretty good. The pool is filled to the brim the right dimensions, water quality, temperature, all according to plans. The construction is holding and the pump's running. So now, now it's perfect. Bob, I don't know. I don't know. The team has achieved its goal together, turning a concert hall into a gigantic swimming arena in just seven days. A world-class pop-up construction. The Italian pop-up professionals have achieved the impossible and transformed the 2,000 square meter event hall into a competition swimming arena. Over the past seven days, Giulio Orsati and his crew have assembled 84 tons of materials, screwed more than 50,000 bolts, and laid 600 meters of pipes. All for the grand final of the International Swimming League 2020. A spectacular event and a true pop-up construction. <laughs>